Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember to support, please subscribe. The Fanatical Nazi Wives When we think of World War history, especially World War II, our minds often wander to the Nazis and the horrendous acts that they committed. We think of names such as Hitler, Goring, Himmler, Heydrich, Bormann and Hess. But something that has been looked over in history is the part the wives of these men played. Some were just as fanatical as their infamous husbands. As Adolf Hitler seized control of Germany and instilled his Nazi regime into the population, he had specific ideas for men and women. Men were to become soldiers and to be the breadwinners, and for the women, their roles were to act as housewives and mothers. These roles were backwards considering how women's movements had progressed during the 1920s and before but Hitler wished for women to have as many children as possible for his Third Reich. He even introduced many policies to promote women bearing lots of children. However, there were a number of high-ranking women who were part of his inner circle. Hitler's inner circle was made up of incredibly powerful but devoted men, but some of their wives were even more pro-Hitler than them. Ava Brown was throughout the Second World War and before anonymous to the German public. She was kept well away from Hitler at personal and public engagements and it was believed that Hitler needed to be betrayed as single to appeal to as many women as possible. She was known to have been rather unstable and she once even shot herself in an attempt to take her life to appear more favourable in Hitler's eye. She was also a rather jealous lady but she longed to be Hitler's wife and she eventually got what she wanted. Much of the footage we have of Hitler today was filmed by Ava Brown herself in the Eagle's Nest and the Berghof. She captured Hitler's everyday life and some of the footage is shocking, showing him doting on children and looking after his dogs, all whilst he was spreading hatred across the lands that he controlled. Now, as the Second World War came to an end in Europe, Ava Brown, who was offered the chance to escape, stayed inside the Führerbunker with Hitler. For her loyalty and companionship throughout the years, Hitler rewarded her by marrying her in one of his final acts. Their marriage would only last around 40 hours. They did host a wedding breakfast, complete with champagne inside the bunker, as Hitler disappeared to make his will. Before the next day, they would then take their own lives. Ava Brown was incredibly devoted to Hitler, and she stayed close to him throughout the years, but to nearly everyone, their relationship was a complete secret. Josef Goebbels was the infamous Reich Minister of Propaganda during the Third Reich, and he was the one who thought producing anti-Semitic films and radio broadcasts helped in poisoning the minds of the German population against the Jews. Goebbels, who was very close with Hitler, joined the Nazi party in 1924, and he was renowned for his public speaking skills. Goebbels rose throughout different positions in Germany, but his work in the propaganda ministry was the most well known. His efforts made Hitler out to be a heroic and infallible leader, who was there to save Germany from the depths of the Great Depression. But in 1931, he married Magda Goebbels, a lady who is sometimes referred to as the first lady of the Nazi party. Magda was a prominent and virulent supporter of Hitler and the Nazis, and she initially met her husband when he was speaking in public, and they became romantically involved in February of 1931. Their relationship began to flourish, but they encountered a number of problems along the way. Hitler himself grew fond of Magda, and Josef was rather jealous of this worrying that Hitler wanted her for himself. Magda was rather ambitious, and she did grow close with Hitler. Despite this, she and Josef had a number of children, and they benefited from their place inside of Hitler's empire, becoming very rich and accumulating many properties. Magda gave birth to six children, but despite this, her husband had many different affairs with famous actresses. Magda felt uneasy about it, and even spoke to the dictator of Nazi Germany about this, and Hitler demanded that Goebbels break off his relationship with Czech actress Lida Barova, so Hitler acted as the marriage counsellor between the two, and following this, they then reconciled. 
Magda herself also had affairs, and Hitler once again convinced the Goebbels to stay together. She was in rather delicate health throughout the war years, and was known for suffering with depression and a weak heart. As the Second World War came to an end, she joined her best friend Hitler and her husband inside the Führer bunker in Berlin. Hitler's underground complex. The Soviet Red Army surrounded the bunker, and with this it was ominous, and Hitler and Eva Braun took their own lives. Magda Goebbels, ever devoted to Hitler, along with her husband, then poisoned their children before they themselves took their own lives. Their bodies were then burnt outside the bunker in a small garden above, and they were discovered by the Red Army, charred. Hermann Goering was the head of the Luftwaffe, who was a former World War I fighter pilot, but inside Hitler's government he was used in a number of different positions. Goering's vivacious and bizarre personality saw him host huge parties and massive spectacles. By 1941 he was incredibly powerful, but as the Second World War continued, his standing with Hitler and the German people declined following the loss of the Battle of Britain and the fact his Luftwaffe could not prevent Allied bombing raids levelling German cities and towns. Goring was married twice, first to Cairn Fock, a Swedish lady who had first met Goring in 1920. They fell in love and lived in the suburbs of Munich, and Cairn followed her husband in joining the Nazi party. Goring took part in Hitler's failed Munich put. Their revolt was to take over control in Munich, and after he was shot, she took him to Austria to recover, nursing him back to health. Their love story was even used as propaganda to boost the Nazis' popularity. However, Cairn died of tuberculosis days before her 43rd birthday, and this greatly affected her husband. Hermann Gorig then married again to a lady named Emma, or Emmy. She worked as Hitler's hostess at many of the state functions and could be seen as the first lady of the Third Reich. She gave birth to a daughter named Edda, and her closeness with Hitler caused friction between herself and Ava Brown. She received huge amounts of attention in the media and lived a lavish lifestyle. Goring owned mansions, estates and huge castles and was a huge beneficiary of the art theft from the Jews. Following the Second World War, Emmy's husband was captured and placed on trial during the Nuremberg Trials, being sentenced to death for his crimes. However, he took his life the evening before his sentence was meant to be carried out. Emmy Goring was imprisoned and then most of her property was confiscated and she lived out her life in a rather small flat in Munich a great come-down from her former life. One of the most evil men inside Hitler's regime was Heinrich Himmler. He was the man responsible for the SS and the virulently anti-Semitic man who ultimately oversaw the Holocaust. Himmler was one of the most powerful men in Germany and built the SS up to become a one million strong paramilitary group. It was he who formed the Einsatzgruppen, the death squads that shot millions of civilians and also built the extermination camps. As the overseer of the genocide, he is responsible for the deaths of around 14 million people. He married Margaret, a lady seven years older than him, who shared similar interests. She was Himmler's perfect woman, blonde hair and blue-eyed, and initially their marriage did not go down well with his parents. They later lived in a huge house, and she was described as a cool, hard woman with delicate nerves who radiated no warmth at all and spent too much time moaning, but was also described as loyal to her husband and an exemplary housewife. Their relationship was strained by her husband's work, and Heinrich Himmler did have an affair with his secretary in 1936. He even fathered two children with her, and Margaret learnt about this, and they had been separated at the time. During World War II, she performed a number of different roles and became a colonel within the German Red Cross. After the conflict ended, she was arrested and interrogated and was denazified because of her links to the party. She was deemed not accountable for her husband's crimes and lived out the last of her years in quiet. Rudolf Hess is a character that has gone down in history for a variety of reasons the one-time deputy Führer of the Nazi party, 
is possibly most famously known for his failed solo flight to Scotland, in which he allegedly tried to broker peace between Britain and Germany. He was a strange man, obsessed in the occult and his own health becoming a hypochondriac. But he married a lady called Ilsa in 1927. The two originally met in 1920 in Munich, and Ilsa was one of the first women to study at the University of Munich, and she then joined the Nazi party. She was close with Hess, but he was initially reluctant to enter a relationship. They did marry and had a child, of which Adolf Hitler was the child's godfather. After her husband's failed flight, she left Munich, and after the war was sent to an internment camp like all of the wives of the condemned Nazis war criminals. She was released and later settled down. However, she remained loyal to Hitler throughout her life, even in her final days. There were many more women who were involved in the hierarchy of the Nazi party, but those highlighted in this video were tied together by their incredibly powerful husbands. They benefited greatly from the misery of so many during the Nazis' rise to power, and they lived incredibly crazy lives themselves. Thank you for watching, and support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.